It's been very enjoyable. The most important factor for me is knowing the other residents here. There is such a warmth with all the individuals here. It was, it's a perfect fit for us, my husband and myself. Uh, it, it just is an amazing, amazing place. And the staff here cannot be beat. They're like, uh, they're like our children. They really are. And if one leaves, we really miss them. I have a little difficulty understanding what you mean by creating a community because I came into a community that was already created and I looked at it and I evaluated what I saw, not knowing everything that you learn over the years. But from what I saw, it was a fit for me. Just getting to know the residents more than anything. I am not a physical person. You ask about activities. I do some volunteering, uh, but I'm not one to do a lot of exercise. I'm the wrong person to talk to in that, that respect. But the one thing I do every single morning is go to bre breakfast so I can be with other residents and we can chat and we're on the same level. It's so nice to talk to individuals who understand what you're saying. Uh, young people today don't look back at history. They're always looking ahead through technology and texting and cell phones. But here we go back and we reflect on how life has treated us and what we remember. And it's so wonderful. Uh, you ask about the transition between home life, which is a cottage, and skilled care. I was in need of having a hip replacement. And one of the options I had was to be able to come to skilled care for a given period of time and have my physical therapy and occupational therapy as a resident of skilled care. But it was a twofold adventure for me because I had in my mind what skilled care would be like, and it didn't even begin to cover what it really was. It was wonderful. I did not realize how much care, personal care, the individual caregivers give each a resident in skilled care. And by that I mean it is, they actually act as if they're relatives, if, as if they're their best friends. And it's not, it's not an image that they're portraying. They are sincere. And I never, never anticipated this. I was more an observer than a re recipient because I was in good health. I didn't have a problem, but I could sit back and watch those caregivers give this undying love to each of the residents in the unit I was in. I loved it. I look forward to going to the dining room. Many people will stay in their room, even if they're in good shape, rather than go to the dining room because they find skilled care depressing. I didn't find it depressing because I was noticing the individual care I mentioned about reflected during the meals as well. It didn't mean, it mattered to me the physical status of each of the residents. It was just the interaction between the staff and the residents. Eating together, I think, is a good thing because number one, it gets you out of your room. Number two, they interact but can't hear each other very well. It's very difficult for them. But I just think that that togetherness bonds them. They, be, they make friends, even though they can't hear each other's conversation, they just make good friends. And I like the fact that you are having a home-prepared meal, so to speak. It's coming from the kitchen like it would at home to the table. 
and it just is very comforting. And homemade cookies don't hurt a bit. <laughs> Not at all. Three weeks. And that was good because it gave me time enough not to make snap judgments. It was really good. I could not rely on care at home, so I needed to be in a setting if I needed it was there. And that's reassuring as well. But it, it's just amazing to be well and observe what truly goes on in a setting versus, oh, what's going to be like when I get there and worrying about it. This has really taken down all the, uh, all the shades for me. I'm not afraid. I know that it's going to be a wonderful experience. It's the best one I've had so far at Garden Spot, to be completely honest. Well, I think what's so sad is that children feel depressed and sad to see their parents go backwards to their health to decline, their mental uh, abilities to decline. It's so hard on them that way. But if you were in the parent's shoes, if you could just take yourself out of your shoes for a few minutes and be your mother or your aunt or whoever, and realize that for their needs, they are getting the most wonderful care in the world. I think that's the hardest thing for young people to do, is to remove themselves from the child aspect and put themselves in their parents' shoes and what their parents might need at the time. I see it even with healthy parents where the children, um, for example, will suggest that their parents get a tablet, an electronic tablet because they're so used to cell phones. They have wonderful finger dexterity. They have all these things going for them. But a parent who is up in age does not have the, the small motor control that a young person has. This is a whole new learning aspect for them. It's not a computer, which they've just learned with keys and all that. They're learning something totally new, but the child the adult child feels that that would be the best thing for their parent. They need to think what their parents need based on their physical capabilities. I believe that a private room is advantageous because that's the person's home. In other words, if a curtain crosses the room, it's still a curtain and there's still someone on the other side. <clears throat> to the end of their days, this will be their home. And I think it's important, but if two people have dementia issues or memory issues, it really doesn't matter that much because they don't realize that there is someone over on the other side of the room versus, from my viewpoint, strictly my viewpoint, yeah. Absolutely, and when they entertain their family, being in basically good mental condition, they can talk privately and not worry about anything. That's why I think it's really important. There's something I think people should realize. People my age, and I'm close to 80, and, but I'm in relatively good health, if you need occupational or physical therapy and you're eligible, I feel they should all consider skilled care as an option. Uh, well, it is an option as a resource because it's so wonderful. You didn't have to get in a car to come to the building to have physical therapy or occupational therapy twice a day. So it's ideal. If you're in good health, you're going to be leaving. This is not going to be the end of the road for you. But if you're not up to snuff and you're much older and you're going to, this is going to be your home for the rest of your life, I think that, that the residents there are ready to move there. But it's their families, again, who are young 
and feel so sorry for their parents when actually it's what their parents want and need, usually, usually. And I love observing. That was the best part of this whole experience, was it allowed me to see what really went on. And I can, I can tell people, don't be afraid, use it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to start the day knowing that you can go to the dining room and the little lady that you see every morning is there ahead of you and you are probably two thirds her age. It got to be a contest to see who would get there first, she or me, and it was always her. But you get there and it's just like having your mother make breakfast for you. It, it, they ask you what you want, you can have anything at all, but you're, it's not regimented. It is just like being home and it's ideal to me. It's ideal. People who really need help, there's the assistance for them and they get out of their rooms and even if they don't know what's going on, they're with other individuals and I think that's very healthy. It's just a wonderful experience. Um, most people get up early, but not five in the morning, and the trays don't come in. Dinner, breakfast is served to them as they come. I couldn't believe at dinner, they have more ice cream than we do in the cafe. They have it right in their freezer and they can have anything they want. They want ice cream on, on pudding, they can have it. It's ideal, it is just great. Even the food that's pre-prepared in the ma major East Kitchen comes out and it, they ask you exactly what you want, how much you want, you can have anything you want. It is just like being home better some actually.